Welcome to today's coffee break. Today's lesson is on a new feature that's available in NAV 2017 called report settings. And report settings do is they let you pre-filter, actually let you save filters on reports. So what I'm going to do is show you the trial balance and we're going to set up some canned filters that we might want when we're running our trial balance report. So the first thing I do is I'm going to show you uh, the trial balance in detail and summary. So right now it looks like your standard trial balance. I'm going to preview it. I've filtered on my inventory items or my inventory counts. Let me just close this. And I'm just going to run it again and I want to show you something that pops up. You, you may notice this when you get your 2017 out of the box. You get this new box at the top that says saved settings. So right now it says last used options and filters. And if I click on the drop down, there are no other choices. So what it does is it's just keeping track of the last, the last information that I filtered on, in this case, my inventory accounts. What I can do, though, is I can create additional filters. So I'm just going to go up here to Report Settings. And this is found in um, the, under Administration, Application Setups, General, and Report Settings, or you can just do the search for Report Settings. So what's happened is because I ran that report, it's actually listed in this report settings with my last filter. What I want to do is create a new filtered, pre-filtered trial balance. Um, and just so you know, as you run each report in the system, this particular table will become more and more populated with those different report IDs. So if you want to preview a report and then you decide you want to come in here, once you've previewed it, you'll see it listed in here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this number, the report ID. And I'm just going to do new, and we'll do one for accounts receivable, same report. But now what I want to do is I want to click on modify. So I'm going to change my accounts to be my uh, accounts receivable accounts. We'll do domestic and we'll do foreign. There we go. And for the date filter, I'm going to do from the beginning of time up until the last date in my, my test database here. And the other thing I like to do is I don't like to see entries that were um, booked direct, directly to the GL, um, usually because I'm comparing this to my accounts receivables reports. So I'm going to go ahead and put an additional filter here for my source code and say I don't want to see anything that was booked directly to these accounts through the general journal. I just click OK. So that's preset. Now I'm going to do the same thing for accounts payable. Same report, different filters. Again, I modify, and I'm going to put in my accounts receivable accounts. I'm going to do foreign and domestic. There we go. My same date filters. You don't have to put in a date filter. You can leave this blank. I'm just showing you, you have different options here. And again, I'll do my source type. Sorry, my source code. Not equal to general journal. Okay. So let's go back to the trial balance. detail and summary, and now I have a list of options in my save settings drop-down box. If I choose accounts payable, that information in the filter box gets updated according to the filters that I set in the report settings. Now when I preview it, I'll see only my accounts payable accounts, just like I wanted to see. That's it, you can do that for any report in the system you can actually use uh, permissions to assign it to different people. But I just wanted to sort of introduce this new technology to you that's available in NAV 2017. A lot of people have been asking this for many, many years, so they'll be very happy to see this. I, uh, I, hope, I hope you enjoy this and take advantage of it. That concludes our lesson on setting up the report settings. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com.
Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.